Hi guys, this is Stefan again here to bring you another story. Today's story is going to be slightly different tempo. Uh, it's going to be quite different from the usual motivational, inspirational story. This is more of a touching story. Uh, you know, and you know, you can tell in your classes for you know, thankful or gratitude or even like treasuring the people around us or even there are many other lessons to learn from this. Um, but um, not so much for the lesson today, I guess. Uh, but today, I just, I just want to share this story that I just read recently. Uh, online and you know it really touched my heart when I read it. So this is I believe this is a true story. Uh, this is this was about mother of a child with cancer, and you know she was at the hospital, you know for six months they have been battling the cancer, and the doctors came out of the room and she rushes towards the doctor and says you know how's my son, little Jimmy let's call him little Jimmy, and he she runs towards him. Uh, the doctor says I'm sorry, we tried our very best, we couldn't do anything. You know, so the little boy, uh, you know, he died, and the doctor said, oh, you know, would you like to spend a little bit more time before you know we push him, we, we deliver him to uh, send him to the university? Uh, Jimmy, the little boy, had actually volunteered that his his body be donated for research uh, because you know he just had a very big heart, you know. In fact, in fact, the at first the mother said no uh, to the donation, but after the little boy said, you know, mom, my, you know, the research that is done, you know, in the study of my body might help another boy spend an extra day with the mother. So at last, you know, they agreed, and you know, he signed the papers. So this boy's body was going to be donated after his death. And you know the, the doctor said, you know, before we push him, uh, we send him to the university. Would you like to spend a little bit more time? And the nurse actually asked the mother, "Would you like a lock of his hair? You know, and all all, all his belongings?" And she said, "Yes, please." So that the nurse actually cut a lock of his hair, and you know, and uh, send all the belongings. And this mother, she she walks back, to, you know, she, to the car, uh, takes the bag of you know belongings and his things and the little boy's things put in in her car she drives home and it was really quiet uh, and and the house and you know she walks into a room puts down his stuff lays it all out put it nicely in his room and uh, hugged the pillow the boy's pillow and cried herself to sleep and then about 12, she wakes up and she realizes, you know, just underneath her arm, there was a small envelope. And she opens it up. Uh, I'm going to read it as it is, as I read it from online, because I don't want to miss anything that it said. So the, the letter read this. Dear Mom, I know you're going to miss me, and I don't think that I will ever forget you or stop loving you. Just because I'm not around to say I love you, I will always love you, mom, even with more each day. Someday we will see each other again. Until then, if you want to adopt a little boy so you wouldn't be lonely, that's okay with me. You can have my room and old stuff to play with, but if you decide to get a girl, it's okay with me too. She probably wouldn't like the same things as boys do. You probably have to buy her dolls and stuff girls like, you know. But don't be sad thinking about me, this really is a neat place. Grandma and Grandpa met me as soon as I got here and showed me around, but it will take a long time to see everything. The angels are so cool. I love to watch them fly. And I know, and you know what? Jesus doesn't look like any of his pictures. Yet when I saw him, I knew it was him. Jesus himself took me to see God. And guess what, Mom? I got to sit on God's knee and talk to him like I was somebody important. That's when I told him that I wanted to write you a letter to tell you goodbye and everything. But I already know that that, that wasn't allowed. Well, you know what, Mom? God handed me a paper and his own personal pen to write this letter. I think Gabriel is the name of the... Gabriel is the name of the angel who is going to drop this letter off to you. God said for me to give you the answer to one of the questions you asked him. Where was he when I needed him? God said he was in the same place with me as when his son Jesus was on the cross. He was right there. He, was, he always is with all his children. Oh, by the way, mom, 
No one else can see what I've written except you. To everyone else, this is just a blank piece of paper. Isn't that cool? I have to give God his pen back now. He needs to write some more names in the book of life. Tonight, I get to sit at the table with Jesus for supper. I'm sure, sure the food will be great. Oh, I've almost forgot to tell you. I don't hurt anymore. The cancer is all gone, and I'm glad because I couldn't stand the pain anymore, and God couldn't stand to see me hurt so much either. That's when he sent the angel of mercy to come and get me. The angel said that it was a special delivery. How about that? Signed with love from God, Jesus, and me, little Jimmy. So, you know, I was, you know, I, I, when I read this, I, I just had, I was just so touched. Uh, and, you know, you can share this with your friends. Uh, you know, you can send them this video, uh, you know, especially for those who have lost a loved one. Uh, or you can just try to remember this story and tell it when, when you're trying to comfort someone who, you know, has someone important depart from their life. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you are having uh, a great day and I hope that you have enjoyed uh, you know, lo looking through all the videos that I've been posting up. Uh, if you have a story to share, uh, do share it with me so that I can, I can I will share it on my channel on YouTube so that more people will get inspired or in this case get touched and uh, you know, even feel a sense of release and feel happy uh, or you know just feel uh, really loved. So thank you very much again. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.